Hello there, Internet. So, we've yet again come upon a, this time of year once again. The time for new anime, and I'm a few weeks late on this. I'm sorry, I tried to do it a bit earlier this year, but things got in the way. I'm sorry about this. So, yeah, without further ado, let's actually get into the recommendations instead of being around the bush as the year starts to wind down. This is gonna be kinda quick, folks, so let's go. So we're gonna start off these recommendations with a controversial pick. And I wanna start this by saying no one should go into this series blind if they're easily disturbed by certain subject matter. I don't wanna say what that subject matter is, but if you fall in those lines of people who are disturbed by it, or you think you might be disturbed by it, I say Google stuff. Google stuff really quickly and no videos. So with that said, the series contains a lot of elements, especially in episode one, that could be said to trigger various people. And I say that completely unironically. So I can understand if you don't or can't get into this particular series, but trust me, if you can stomach it, it's actually a pretty decent watch. The series is about, when you get down to basics, a hell of a warrior known only as Goblin Slayer, who only has one desire in life, and that is killing goblins. That's all he cares about, that's all he does, and that's all he wants to do. He seems to have low social skills, and the only response to the idea of killing goblins. Yes, yes, all he does. All he wants to do, all he cares about. <laughs> Just to make that point across, because the series seems to... A lot of people seem to not understand that he only cares about killing goblins. So, yeah, he suffers from a tr very severe traumatic experience when he was a kid after goblins attacked his village and now wants nothing more than to kill goblins. So think kind of like Guts, but Guts Light. Speaking of that, this is basically Berserk Light. So if you're a fan of Berserk and you want something to do while we wait for the hiatus to end again, then I recommend you look up Goblin Slayer and watch the series. If you like Berserk but don't mind the lack of complexity that Berserk normally has. It's still interesting and I do consider it good, but it's still fairly graphic. And if you can't handle stuff like that, then I understand you now when I see it. For the recommendation, I say read the manga too. The manga has a lot of stuff, especially from episode 1, that gets kind of cut to make the pace of the anime better for viewing, but kind of ruins the theming of the series, at least its early portions. So yeah, also read the manga if you want further getting into it if you like this series. Let's move away from something edgy into something on utter ridiculousness with Zombie Land Saga. So what's this one about? It's a story about a bunch of zombie girls forced to become idols, and it's as ridiculous as you think it is. Yeah, this is a great premise, and just watching the OP is... It, that's what sold me on the show. The OP is hilarious in itself and as well animated craziness, which is pretty much the show itself in a nutshell. The idea of these cute girls being zombies that freak everyone that sees them out, which happens like once an episode, and it's almost always funny when it happens. When then I imagine a bit will get old, but it's still pretty funny when it happens so far. Again, it's hilarious. And the girls have some interesting ways of using their zombie traits to get advantages as idols, such as extreme headbanging in episode 1, and other things that I don't want to spoil because I want you to experience these girls being zombies because it's always hilarious slash cute. On top of that, the guy who revived them basically is the utter ridiculousness and I love him. I love this man and I just love everything about him. How he almost screams every line he says and it's perfect. His ultimate goal is just to revive the tourism industry of the Saga Prefecture by making a bunch of zombie idols and it's a dumb plan and I love him for how dumb that plan Plan is. And again, he seems to scream every line in a way that's funny, unlike, let's say, another character that almost screams every line, Asta for Black Clover, which was annoying. In this case, it's used more for comedy than annoyance. Either way, screams every line, his case is great. So this series is hilarious, and I love it, and it's zany, and if you want something funny and lighthearted to watch this season, then I highly recommend this one. Probably not going to get much into depth, at least so far it doesn't look like it might, I mean maybe things will change, but it's still a pretty enjoyable series so far with, again, probably one of the best OPs this season, if you discount a series we'll talk about much later. So how do all of you feel about tokusatsu? Toku anime aren't as prevalent as I would really like them to be. I mean, we do have a few toku series and a few that pay homage to it actually a lot to pay homage to it because you know stuff and various bits here and there but no but we haven't had a actual lot a lot of like 
just toku anime for a good minute now and i kind of want there to be more of them so here comes gridman give me what i want and no i'm not saying the full title because there are four s's in that and i don't want to sound like a snake because it'll just be saying gridman i mean yes i'm supposed to say like sssss gridman but that's also made sound like a snake anyway this series is animated by studio trigger and has already won my attention because of it i'm a giant fan of studio trigger even when they're at their dumbest because it's always entertaining the show was actually based off an old toku show that has long been forgotten also called gridman but the original title is long and i don't want to pull up the wikipedia article because it's long and in japanese <laughs> the basic premise for this series and as well as the original series although they diverge after this point is that a high school student and his friends have to fight against kaiju that well attack their city and get the help of a giant mecha man known as gridman that the main character merges with thanks to the help of a computer and that is called junk and that is where the divergence happens at that point that and characters it is just its own original thing from here on what makes this really interesting is after the kaiju attacks the world seems to be rewritten all the damage destruction and memories of everyone from their previous incident are completely forgotten and if anyone was killed during the previous incident they are seemingly erased from the world dying at earlier points well before the actual attack happened and it's honestly kind of terrifying the only people who remember the kaiju attack in the first place are our main characters or anyone connected to gridman so yeah that is interesting this series isn't just interesting for that, but it has a lot of stuff I don't want to spoil, and the characters are also interesting. And I say they were interesting a lot because it's a trigger show, and trigger always says interesting beginning. Look, this is a trigger anime, so it's very well animated, the fight scenes are glorious, there's some good moments, some funny moments, and I don't want to say anything more because I might spoil it, and I don't want to spoil anything because this series is pretty good. And even if it peters out like Frank's did at the end of it, well, it'll still be an enjoyable series to watch. So yeah, watch Gridman because it's really really good so yeah only three new series this season uh, there's a reason for that and that's going to be explained in the season two corner that we're getting into right now there are a lot of series to have second seasons of continuations this for this season <laughs> so let's get into those shall we it's attorney season two the it's attorney anime is back and while it's not super great well, as good as the games, it's still pretty enjoyable. And now there are Trials and Tribulations, so yeah, the final case is going to be here and it's going to be animated. So yeah, 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 I want this. To Arno Index Season 3, man, it feels like forever since this series went on hiatus, and no, Railgun doesn't count. That's a side series. I need the main series stuff. And it's finally back, so that's good. I need this. Golden Kamui Season 2. Golden Kamui came out earlier this year as a Season 1, and the Season 2's here, and it's just as good. It feels like it never left, which is great, because I really like this series so far. Uh, if you're not into it yet, I recommend a quick marathon on Season 1, then jump on the Season 2 bandwagon, because Season 2 was still pretty good, and wacky as ever. I mean, episode... Well, season two, episode one, there's literally a dude who gets off scanning people. Tokyo Regal season three. It's more of Regal, and that's pretty good. And I'm really hoping it doesn't pull a Route A and change the plot from the manga. I've read the manga for Regal. It's good to the end. Please stay true to the manga's plot this time, anime. I'm begging you, don't pull a Route A, because Route A sucked at the end of it all. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind. It's the return of JoJo's Friday. That's all I have to say. Because it's JoJo's time, baby. So yeah, not a lot of new series once again, but we still got an enjoyable number of returning series and a lot of older series that are still around. So as the season gets a little colder, let's kick back and enjoy some anime like always. With that said, what are you all watching this season? I'm more than welcome to take a few more recommendations for the season. And I also want to know what you guys enjoyed about last season, so tell me below and let's have a conversation about some anime. Now, without fighting each other, because let's not do that. We're better than that, people.